Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Little Green Lamb. It's another Top 5 Wednesday day. And today's topic is Top 5 Books You Struggle to Finish. So this one was actually pretty easy for me to pick out, which is probably bad. But I had a few in mind, and you're going to see a pattern of this. A lot of these are the second book in a series or trilogy. Um, the second books, I think, why it takes me a while sometimes is because I think if the first book was phenomenal and the second one falls flat. But usually, like, I like the first, like, out of a trilogy, the first and the third are usually my favorites, and the second one kind of falls flat for me. So there's kind of a trend within my Top 5 Wednesday. And also, before I get into this any further, the Goodreads page will be linked below so you can check out other people's videos. And I feel like some of my picks might be in other people's, um, because they're kind of popularish books, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get right on into it, starting with number five. So, starting with number five, I have Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, and I loved Catching Fire. It's my favorite book in the trilogy by far, and this book just kind of fell flat for me. I know a lot of people are disappointed with this book, but I kind of struggled to get through it because I found some of the things when, um, I don't want to spoil it, but some parts in the middle just kind of like when there was more like action-y scenes, I kind of found it hard to follow along with. You guys have maybe, if you watched my older videos, heard about um, me talking about this but sometimes when there's a heavy action in books like sometimes my brain can't compute it all um, I do have a bit of a comprehension problem certain things so I will kind of blank it out if I don't understand and it just takes forever to get through it this is one of the same things but I like I did like this book I didn't love it but it was kind of I struggled to finish it because I just sometimes my brain couldn't compute it wasn't the best and I was kind of disappointed by it that was um, the only book that was not a sequel. I mean, that was not like a sequel. It was like the third book in the series. Um, but the fourth, my fourth choice is Beautiful Darkness by Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia. And I really liked the Beautiful Creature series. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite series in the land. Beautiful Creatures was phenomenal. I really loved it. Like for me, not really liking Paranormal, I really enjoyed it. And um, Beautiful Darkness kind of fell flat for me, but it really picked up with the rest of the series. Besides the fourth book kind of aggravated me a bit, but this is the one that I more struggled to finish. And it's also because it's such a big book, and the action sequences in this weren't the best, like, compared. But, yeah, I, it just took me forever to finish it. I just kind of struggled. It wasn't the best, but it definitely picked up as it went on. And near the end, it got better in the book, but I kind of struggled to finish this. Number three goes to Crossed by Ali Condi, and I know a lot of people have a problem with this series as well. A lot of people don't like this series. Um, most people don't like Match, but I've heard a lot of people get angry with this book. I have not picked up the third book yet, not because I don't want to, it's just because whenever I go to the store there's always like a dented kind of copy, or I just am not in the mood to read it, but... I want to see what happens in the third book because I hope it gets better, but this book took me forever. I didn't really like the action sequence and the character kind of got a little bit aggravating, but I'm thinking of rereading this series this summer and picking up the third book because I've forgotten a lot about it, and maybe when I give it a second chance it might be a little bit better, um, but yeah, I really struggle with this one. The second book on my list is New Moon by Stephanie Meyer, and this is the second book in the Twilight series, obviously, and the Twilight series is not one of my favorite series. Um, I'm not really into the supernatural stuff, and... Uh, I really like, I don't mind vampires, but I really don't like were, uh, werewolves, what do they call them werewolves? Um, I really don't like, what are they called? The wolves, we're just going to call them that because I forget what they're called. Maybe they're just called the wolves. What are they? Oh my gosh, I am blanking out on what they're called. <sighs> you guys know what I mean. Whatever Jacob Black is in his crew, I do not like that kind of like arc, like with them. Like I'm fine with vampires, okay. But, yeah, they weren't my favorite. I didn't really like the character of Jacob Black, which made me kind of struggle. Don't hate me, please. Um, but it kind of made me struggle through this. And it, the series definitely picked up from this book. But this one was one that took me almost a month to read, I think. And it's quite big. So there's a pattern with these. They're always sequels that take me a while. And they're always ginormous, basically. It's not really because the next book kind of disproves that theory. But we are moving on. <laughs> So number one on my list is The Scorch Trials by James Dashner, and I really loved The Maze Runner. It was really good, loved the world and stuff, but this one took me a while to get into because so much had changed, and I just didn't like this one as much, and I didn't like the third one as much either, but the first one was really good, and I think maybe if, some of these books, I think like sometimes I have to reread them, maybe it was the time of my life I read them. A lot of these books I read two or three, some of them, one of them four years ago. Um, so it's been quite a while, so I'm feeling of rereading some of the 
these ones and seeing if I did struggle with them this time. But yeah, I might reread this soon because the movie is coming out, not for this book, but for Maze Runner, obviously. And yeah, so that has been my top five Wednesday. If you stick around after this outro, you will see a blooper, possibly of me singing. Um, yeah, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I've been really theatrical on this channel lately. I don't know what's into me. Maybe it's the summer. It just brings out the high school musical in me, you know?